Today's video is another departure from the short game. This thing is what basically stopped me from playing competitively. It stopped me from playing for fun as well because the fun had just gone out of the game altogether for me. I could not find a fairway from the tee. In fact, it wasn't just not finding the fairway, it's like I'm here from the rough. I'm hitting tree 60 yards off the tee on the left or I'm blocking it so far right it's unfindable. When you find yourself looking for balls more than you're actually getting to play the game and hit shots, it's not fun anymore. So I went to visit Steve Furlong to try and confirm a few things that I've been working on using his force plate technology to see if I was on the right track, having worked on a lot of things in my own and kind of starting with this at the start of this year, just to get a bit of confirmation from him. And what I found is eight miles per hour of clubhead speed and more accuracy. I was on the right track, he added some more magic to it. This video isn't all about distance, please don't get me wrong on that. This is about making a driver work. Distance was a bonus. Now don't forget, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you are, hit the notifications button, hit the like on the video and comment below. Let's take a live lesson today. Finished. Hmm. Oh dear. 105, still, still life in the old dog, eh? 105 is all right. To be fair, that's better than it would usually be, probably because of what I've been doing. Okay. I'm not obviously leaving the ground. Yeah, but I'm sure hitting 50 drivers over the last few days doing it has probably had some benefit. Yeah, definitely. Getting familiar with it again. Just let that kick in, ready for capture. Just wait a moment. Ready for capture. Yeah, okay. Ready when you are. Finish. 107, getting faster. Huh? Boy, 110 and we're moving. <laughs> we're 110 in a minute, don't worry. How long you got? <laughs> <laughs> right, keep going. I'd say that's a, probably a... Some, uh, even when I, when I used to play and play half decent, I would say I was quite steery of a driver. Steering, it was always yeah. kind of just just steer it down there. Yeah. It was it was long enough. Never free will and it never just no. giving it. No. Ready for capture. Yeah. Finish. Yeah, Necky. that's the one. That's the yeah. Healy one again. I, it's not terrible. But obviously going to lose a lot of ball speed. Yeah. Spinny. Yeah. Speed wise, yeah, mm, close. But it's definitely less, it's going to be much less dynamic than when I'm launching it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting that spin up from there, just, aren't you? Just living in the heel. Yeah. Okay. It's struck, but into it's... Into out five degrees and five degrees up. Oh, we're not optimizing here. That's a, that's a plane 10 yeah. degrees to the right. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably not ideal. Yeah. Now, 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 <laughs> now we're fighting. Now, now, now you know that you've got to use your hands. You've got to be trying to, because ultimately that on its own, it's starting see to... See where the misses are going to... The human and be, good player in you has done a bloody good job getting that back to getting what it should yeah. be doing. You're counteracting it, aren't you? That's the thing. You stand there and watch that shot and go, well, that was decent. Yeah. It was all right, but then you look at the numbers and yeah. that's, that's a hair away from being yeah. a disaster. It's a time bomb, isn't it? It's yeah. ticking away. It could be any tee shot of the day. So let's go force plates now then. Um, just tone these cameras up. Can we good? Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. And you, you, will, you can do that. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. I just did that. Yeah, that's it, Godston. <laughs> you can that's just, number 57, yeah. that was, Church Street. That, yeah. was, that was me. <laughs> when we had, um, when uh, the Long Drive boys here, uh, I, I obviously angled them up the top corner, but every now and again, they forget where they're aiming and they start aiming down the middle of the range. And we've had complaints from the chimney pots, the houses down there. That attack angle's high. There's an issue there. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I... Because what you have to do to mitigate up and in the resultant in of the club, yeah. you've got to be banging that well out to the right. Yeah. I've done it again. <sighs> I 
Sorry. No, no. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not like hitting Pro Vs or something. I mean, like oh my God. Uh, okay. So, right, on to the drills. Um, so, what you did yesterday or a couple of days ago when you were doing it, I want yep. you to follow the same sort of rehearsals or priming yourself. I call it priming. Um, to jump. You can jump backwards, you won't break your ankle. That mat is sitting flush with the with the wooden frame. So if you want to do that, let's do it. Right, so, so let's jump like crazy. Jumping on this one. Jump around. All right, you just had me at five stock drivers, so let's see how quickly this works. Okay, hit one without the force plates and then we measure okay. again just to get Better. So just pump a few out there without the force plates, so just making a couple of notes here. One ten. Ready to go, force plates? Not really, because both shots of it with driver on force plate have left town, so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it in town. <laughs> right, ready? So, pause. We'll see. Hold, hold, and good to go. Mm, bit low on the face. Mm, not bad. I mean, there's a massive jump in the speed. You immediately sort of lowest is, take that one out, being an outlier, but your lowest is 109, but your 110, 111. Okay, so let's have a little look. Um, let's bring up face on the one that you're pushing speed up and then getting that kind of bit more of a jump and a bit more of a floating foot. Um, so, <clears throat> for me straight away, just looking at COM and trace of COM, so this is the fast one, that's your stock standard, so we know that this is three to five mile an hour faster. I'm looking at the dip in the COM, how much is going down and how much it's popping up. And I like the fact that it's going more vertical this way and popping back up again. One thing I would high, uh, immediately allude to is that that's not coming back down to where it started. The trace is not coming back down this and then back up. Yeah. So it's never back to where it started. So you're always, COM's higher. It never gets to its original position. Yep. It stays above it. Yeah, which is going to cause a low strike. Yep. Yeah, straight away. So although we are creating vertical force, if we don't get our COM down low enough, yep. we could cause just a bigger problem because all it is is it's still down here. We haven't, that faster shot isn't curing the low on the face strike, yep. which we'd, we'd say from a, it's probably one of your biggest problems is the low on the face. Yeah, isn't rarely it? do I hit. Yeah, above centre. So this, this is the, the, it would ultimately be right. We've got to fix that problem yeah. before. Okay, we're looking at this stuff. This is good, but we push that up. We know that organically this is going to improve. Yeah. So that looking at that, I mean, even when we take stock, I mean, even then, you get a, you see, it's not a nowhere near as vertical. It's movement back down and it's still way above. The eyes flick between that, that and that. Yeah, exactly. It's all it's to almost... do with that one. Your camera's just yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so vertical force on the fast one. Two times body weight. Yeah. 206%. Good. AP forces the ability to turn or your ability to thrust, stay back and away from the ball, not move towards the ball. We are now beginning to get this much higher. I said that that needed to be over 35, over more like 40, because it needs to be double this. Yeah. So when we look at that extra, it's definitely coming 
from that left foot. So yeah. Red said that at the start. You must be creating more AP force. I'm going to look at this and the timings of your vertical and your ability to rise and just see where that's peaking. I'm getting away with my mouse over there. Okay. Okay, it's not bad, a bit earlier than the one before. Yeah, that was the one before, it was a tad later. I'm gonna make it about the same. Now I'm looking at the AP effect on the vectors this way, right? Yeah especially that green one, which is lead foot. We really want to, the more we can drive this up, the more we're going to tilt that back, which is effectively going to get that left butt cheek backwards. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I, I look at your Top of backswing position, I look at the unweighting value. Yeah. You lose 20% of body weight percentage of force downwards. Your ability to accelerate down is your ability to unweight. Yeah. So that's quite low, that 20% loss. So that means your acceleration towards the ground is quite low. It's not high enough. Yeah. So we're not. Was it more on the fast than the, the other one? Uh, was, it, it, was it better? I just bring you around on the three percent better. Okay. So a bit better. <laughs> but it is. It was All of it's more. Marginally better. But you can definitely slam back down again. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what I was saying. I, I saw on camera a little bit was that there was a little bit of lowering in my right hip, my right knee, just with the intent of pushing on the left. But it's only three percent. It's visible, but it could be a lot more. I mean, Personally, I mean, if we took the low-hanging fruit, you're physically able to do this. If we was to slightly increase the hand path yep. through some stretch and extension, okay. yep. which would then increase our ability to go down again mm -hmm. and slam the chest or compress back down or reflex down, yep. that would be good for us from a speed perspective. We're pushing, because I think that, you've definitely got more in the tank. Yeah. You're physically capable so. to do it. You're not injured in any way. That We could get that to 115. Yeah. What I'd like to do is just from a linear force on the handle perspective, I'd like you just to get a longer hand path. Okay. So instead of trying to increase force on the shorter hand path, let's just take that factor of just take extending the hand path. Yeah, so extend out a little bit more. That'll seem you a bit more centered at the bit top. Bit more up, bit more higher, and then boom, down. So I'd like to go up more, be up and higher and stretched, and then slam down faster. Yeah. And then that should, if we slam down and we're going down and around with the left shoulder a bit more that way, that should help us with the down and out, what we want through the lead foot as well. Yeah. So I kind of would describe this if I had this, if this was like a torch, trying to get it from torch spirit level and a bit more higher, torch back down on the ground that way. Yeah. And if we want to draw it, we've just got to keep the shoulders closed when we slam the chest down that way. If we want it to be neutral, we're going to be a bit more squared up. Yep, don't want to draw it. So then you want to open the shoulders as you slam down. Yep. That. And I think from it's better to try, we really want to try and work the shaft that way than that way. Yep. So if we used stretch, extend, yeah, compress and reflex down, and keep that shaft working out in front and not under. Yep. So we're going to probably see the lead shoulder stay down under a shelf mm -hmm. as it works around, and that yep. should keep that club kicking keep outwards. Keep the club out a bit more. Because that's the ultimate for us, is to not allow this to happen, yep. to keep that. But are you doing that because you're there, there? No, it comes down on a pretty good plane, but it goes underneath. So that isn't coming in to fix something that's over and under. It's actually coming down quite nicely. Then it goes under. Yep. Okay. So up, stretch. Yep, more extension. Down, 
out with the shaft. Still jumping? And if the result of it can be a jump, then get the jump. Take it up, feel that stretch, higher, longer hand path, and then kind of slam down. Yep. Slam down, faster. That's it, good, really. Pump it down. So big stretch, up and around, high, down. Yep, good. Okay, hold that there. And then from there, up, in and around. Yeah. <clears throat> so am I going to the top today or just from down here? So from there you can do that part. So this up, way. Up, in and around. Pull the grip off the shaft. We tilt and turn. Let the foot go now, let the foot float. Yeah, very good. Boom. And I wouldn't mind you kind of, when you're there, just a couple of taps on the left foot, boom, boom, flex, flex, go. Tap, 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 go. Very good. Again. Bloody workout. <laughs> well, you'll get it here when you're here. Don't worry about that. If I need to get the violin. <laughs> so, and again, just a few taps just to spike that force. Yeah. If you had a tennis ball underneath your left foot, pump, pump, snap. Pump, pump, snap. Very good. And again, I like that. I really like that. And again. Very good. The flag tangled up. So that turn in the corners, big on. Yeah, you cannot dump that under when you're doing that. So we got to turn that corner sharp. Yeah. And that's not, we obviously know that Peter Smith of the golf club does it the wrong way. We're doing it the good way. It's just the more of that as possible. Get it round there and get this fucker out there. Which is 100% what I'm lacking because I'm always going this way. It just is, uh, and that is the ultimate. If we were to say one piece, Okay, yeah, I've given you some ability to create more vertical, create some more AP. But if we just took the ultimate, you still got to fucking do that. Yeah. This thing's got to be in here tight. Yeah. Because then isn't heel, that's toe if it's too tight. Yeah. And that has to be then working that way instead of that way. That will change the game right now. That's all about transferring it, the speed out to the club head, right? And that's what those guys do the best. Not only they create more miles an hour here, the fastest guys, through yeah. bigger stretch, bigger turn, more linear work, but they're going, poof, they just have this fucking amazing ability to pull the grip off the damn shaft, yeah. not put it on. Okay, so my heart rate's just about come down. <laughs> <laughs> so, a few rehearsals slam, jump. And if the right foot wants to go, no problem. The right foot wants to do that. Not as much as, as, uh, as Scotty, but he's pretty good at jumping off the right foot. Trust me, you'll jump higher off both feet than you will off one. Oh, man, now I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, go on. Let's have one of them. Doesn't matter where it goes. Come on, let's get that. <laughs> Pull on that grip. Let's get that grip. I'm not, I'm not sure I can do it much wider than the two misses I had earlier, so... Pull on that damn grip, get it in, kick that head out. Bottom. Go. Move this across here. We change that through maybe T height a little bit. We keep going yep. that way. Keep more in with the grip. More around the corner with the handle. Body out of the way. Slam down, down and around, and then out the way, jump out the way. Very good, very good, James. Climbing. On 12, keep going. 
strike up the face, strike across the face, dynamic loft. Pa look at the path. But you can see, like from a, like, I, I can I can deal with this mentally, but you, yeah, you go for going. I feel like I'm giving up control to gain control. Yeah. And a tall player's got to play next week. <laughs> it's like, you, but you you try to push them. Well, come on, you can, you can. There is more. <laughs> so far off the bottom. <laughs> I don't think I got down very well on that one. Slam Somehow. down more, mate. Yeah. That's you're right there. You've hit the nail on the head. You didn't get the chest slam. Yeah. Get the chest slam. It's the the important part of getting that club. I think that's one thing I find difficult is to think, right, I'm, a, I'm able to separate the downswing yep. into two phases. Yeah. Like I'm so busy thinking, right, from here, I'm just going to jump get out, out of the way. Ground, yeah. And I've got time for that. Two things, like maybe the extension of the back is going to give you that little bit more time and yep. space to do it. Feel higher there, to get the hands higher then. Yeah. On 12.5. Yeah, good. Increasing. Mm, nope. Yeah, good. Very good. And that's the thing, is it? Is the the fear of am I going to get to get this out of the ground? Whoa. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you see, you have you're hitting the bottom edge of the club all day yeah. long. Probably are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit the it's top edge. Coming out. Okay, so now we've got COM across, up, but this is what I really like. It's back down to where it started. You was never getting it that low. It's, it's always a bubble. Yeah, and then rise up. Yeah. Fine. Okay, I actually want it to go below where it started because <laughs> then the rise up gets you to where you started. Yeah. Because we've still got a low strike on the face because COM is higher than it was at the start. Where would you like COM at impact? A COM about the same position. Can be uh, slightly above, about the same just slightly yeah, above. Oh, because we okay. know the, the shaft is deflecting a little bit, but yeah. about the same is good. But the ultimate is going under where you started. Yeah, trust me, if you go under where you started, oh. the human in you is going to get back up again. You, you ain't going to allow that club to go that low. Yeah, it's only going to increase the likelihood of getting out of it, getting out of the ground. Yeah, okay, so it almost forced the issue. All right, so the goal here is to try and get one below. Yeah, get down below. So it's really good, considering you've done that in, you know, eight shots or so. Good. More. But I like what you said. I need to get, I'm going to go more down. I feel like as I start the downswing, I'm getting really, really low. Yeah, so I feel like if I... If with I was chest, with shirt buttons, yeah? yeah. With sternum, yeah. not with knees and hips. Yeah. So get it from your chest. So it's back into yeah, four bend. get there. there. Get it in that bit. Get that down more. All right, so we're going COM below address position. Yeah. That's the goal. Go on, there. Okay. And then jump. Okay, force plates are ready. That was high toe. Whoa, there we go. Oh, it was low toe. Track man, come on. Okay. 113, fastest so far. Ah, oh, shit, didn't get a very good COM oh, reading. No. We're playing the force plate. I'll just have to do it again. But that's good, I like that. But I like how long that left shoulder stayed down. So 74% I'm waiting, yep. yeah? So now it's changing the game. We're 10 from where you started. You're accelerating faster down. Not, not, not that it's a goal for distance, but how much are long drivers on waiting? 40%. That's how fast they're going down. They are like a drag car <laughs> in acceleration down towards the ground. Yeah, okay. we're currently at around BMW 325. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? That's the scary thing is how fast they free fall. Go on. Okay. Right down. Okay, we're good. Lower down. that chest, slam it down. Are we good? Yep. Finished. 
Well, the good thing is we haven't had any out in Godston nope. for a long time. Speeds are staying up. 113s are highest, but we're consistently staying above 111. So we've even got a gain from our average of 110. We're pushing up to nearly 112. Yep. And we've got rid of the big, right? Yeah? Yeah, I mean, that, that transition is going to make a big difference, isn't it? Just getting back into forward bend there, the club's going to be less this way. Yep. Okay, so, yeah. Yep. Because I think we've now got that, think about it. So we've got that downward trajectory of the COM. Your weight's going downwards, you're loading the ground. We've just got to just hang on to it for a bit longer to let it go down and stay on that trajectory, yeah? Okay. Come on. It's an old Slide. driver, doesn't matter if it's I'd expect the first half of the downswing to be okay. Probably didn't push out of it quite as much. There's an arrow. It's putting the two together, isn't it? Getting that, getting the downward, and yeah. then, the, then jumping or pushing out of it. It is the two together. Now, I do, don't get me wrong, I think the extension helps but it does have to be a chest slam. Yeah. I think that it's better to have that focus on that. Because this, it, you, it, if you just went with that, yes, okay, the stretch shorten cycle, you will want to compress and reflex down, but it's no more, it's not, not as much as you it's physically gonna be a, It's going to be a limiting it. factor, yeah. right? You've got to try harder to do it. All and right. that's left shoulder down and around as part of that chest flexing move. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more. Let's, let's just really give it some. Did you? I think I got, my, sh I think I got my shoulder down longer. Okay, I how think. much? <laughs> Enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's golf, isn't it? Though? it it's a centimetre and it feels like a foot. Oh, it's definitely, definitely gone down. Yeah, that's definitely more. Yeah, good, very good. Here, look at that. I mean, that's that's that there is fabulous. Really good. That now that's different. That left shoulder is now moving down and around. So we're back to seventy-three percent unweighting, which is huge now. That that gain over two hundred in vertical. AP force is good for that left foot. Very good. Very very good. And then when we look at here, then. Excellent. It's definitely not dumping under here. Yeah, I mean, that's in line enough, isn't it? Yep, it's lining up nicely. Kilo med ball. Fucking slam the thing. Here, not here and here. Forget yeah. that. It's that. So, so on the right track, just I could, I could do more of it by being better transitioning. Yep. Getting that chest slam, getting that down. Yep. Then I can continue to push out the ground, pull the grip off the club. Pull the more. grip off the club. Crank the speed up. So that's like 112.6. Up from what was I on stock? 104, 105? 104, 105 push, and that you were scared. You were oh, scared yeah. where it would go. You were talking about your big misses at that slower speed. I've yeah. not seen a big miss at averaging 112 no, with big, some fast ones at 113. I've not stuck any into those trees on the right. We've not in Godston. We've missed, we've kept Godston safe. Everyone can go shopping again in the high street. So, you know, we're, we're good, honestly. Yeah, this so is really good. A massive change, mate. That, that, that's a nice thing though, Be, and from a golfer's perspective, being able to do something more and harder, more aggressive, and it only, not only, but it's more likely to produce accurate shots. It's a massive step forwards and not have the fear of the big miss. Actually, the faster you go, it's better dispersion. That's awesome. Really good. Thanks, Steve. Very good.